My name is Anthony Harnden. I'm a uh, university lecturer in the department. Um, I've been here since 2001 uh, and I work part-time as a university lecturer and part-time as a general practitioner. In early 2009, um, a general practitioner colleague and myself came up with the idea of a, a series aimed at doctors for diagnoses which are easily missed in general practice. The first article that we uh, did um, was on whooping cough. Uh, whooping cough is a nasty illness for adults in child. It causes a cough which comes in paroxysms which keeps children awake at night, which keeps their parents awake at night. In adults it causes terrible coughs when they're doing exercises. And the key thing about whooping cough is it lasts for a long time. And, and so the, the key uh, problem is that when people get a cough that goes on for a long time, they get worried and their doctors get worried that uh, the cough is due to other things and therefore they get lots of inappropriate investigations and treatment. Until we did our research, the only test that was really available was a blood test or a very deep swab that had to be taken within the first week or so of coughing. We've developed an oral, oral fluid test or a salivary test uh, which uh, is very easy and simple to administer and, and can help um, doctors in their diagnosis of whooping cough. Now the more information that we have about the how much whooping cough is around, the more influence that we will have on the development of vaccine policy. But the other really exciting study, um, which we have a PhD student working on, um, is uh, a trial looking at a drug that was commonly used for cough and asthma and to see whether that actually helps. And if we are able to show an effect uh, for this drug for whooping cough, then we might be the first group in the whole world that actually finds a treatment for the cough in whooping cough.